Passover begins tomorrow night, but this year it's going to be different for Jewish people everywhere. Most in the U.S. cannot travel and they can't attend traditional services or crowded family activities either. Earlier today, I spoke with Rabbi Noam E. Marins about how the coronavirus is impacting Passover. How is the coronavirus impacting Passover activities for the next seven to eight days? Clearly, we're living in a new territory, a new land for Passover observance. We cannot be together the way we normally like to be, but we are being very creative in how we observe Passover, trying to make sure that we maintain the traditions, but putting safety above all. I take it that means uh, much smaller gatherings, the immediate family, less travel, a lot of empty places of worship uh, next few days? That's correct, but I think it's possible that more people are accessing religion than ever before in my lifetime. We'll see how long that lasts after this crisis. Yeah, when all else fails, <laughs> we get on our knees and we start to pray. Um, a lot of my friends, Jewish friends here in the Washington area, would be traveling to Israel about this time. That's not happening, I take it. Normally they would be. Probably tens of thousands of American Jews travel for the Passover vacation to resorts, to Israel, to Italy, to Florida. None of that is happening. Yeah, I like to use these occasions uh, to educate people. For people who don't know, Passover, very important to uh, 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 Jewish people. Uh, it's, it's about the liberation of the Jewish people from the uh, Egyptian slaveholders, right? That's correct. It's the ultimate story about liberation from oppression and slavery into freedom and peoplehood. Uh, it's the story that we need during this coronavirus. All over the world, Jews will be sitting down at the table to tell the story of that exodus and to elevate ourselves to be concerned for those who are at risk, those who are in need of our care, the stranger, the orphan, the widow, and in this crisis, we really see how easily people can fall to the abuse of this terrible virus. Rabbi, thanks a lot. I really appreciate those words. Take care and all the best to you and your family. Happy holidays to you and yours.